Hello again guys and welcome to Architects 3D Printing. In this video we are going to design a useful object against something that we all generate when we print in 3D. Exactly, it is what you are thinking. The waste materials generated by the skirts, supports or simply fails in our prints. Believe it or not, a lot of waste materials are generated in every single print. And if you don't have anything where to throw it in, in a few days your 3D printer space will look more or less like this. Today we are going to design a bowl that we will use to throw all the waste materials in and for that we are going to use the base mode. You can download any base from Thinkiverse or any other page. But in Architects 3D Printing we are original and we are going to generate a random bowl design using the command loft in Rhino. Anyways, as always, I will link you both the STL and G code files generated in this video so you can download them for free. So let's draw our maximum bed size and let some tolerances. Start making different sections for the bowl. For that you can use for example the command array polar and the command trim to get nice random results. Once we have all the sections drawn, we just have to move them up according to our idea. I will make it 140 mm tall but it is completely up to you. Once we have the different sections in place, we will use the command loft, what will create the surface that I mentioned before. Notice that you can choose different finishes for the loft surface. You can preview all of them and choose the one you like more. In my case, I'm gonna choose the option loose. Then we will make two more surfaces from the top and the bottom sections, using the command planar surface or planar SRF. And we will put all three together creating a solid with the command join. After that, we have to export the object in STL and import it in CUDA, where we'll have to make some important changes. We will go to special modes and we will click in the setup icon, where we will show the option spiraling the other contour. And then we will activate it. As you can see, our object is not a solid anymore. Next, in quality, we will set the layer height to 0.3 millimeters. For the inferior or bottom thickness, you could choose between 1 to 4 layers. I'm going to choose only one layer since it will make the printing times a lot faster. Then we will set the infill to 0% and we will turn off the retraction of the material. For the speed I'm gonna choose 40 mm per second but you can do it faster or slower. Once we have it ready, we will export the G-code and send it to the 3D printer. print took around four and a half hours to finish, what is a very short time for the size of this object. This is one of the advantages of the base mode. After removing our bolt from the heat bed, what was not an easy job, we finally got these awesome results. Remember, to get this very shiny finish, you have to clean with water and soap the glass plate of your 3D printer and never touch it with your hand. Here I have another more simple bowl that I have also printed to throw in the waste material in green PLA. Alright, so now it's time to take all this waste of our last prints that I have messing everything up and throw them into the bowl. Nice! Alright, so that's all for this quick video. Remember to click the like button if you liked it and subscribe to the channel on YouTube and our social media to be notified when a new video is uploaded. See you on the next video.